Hello everyone, my name is Ming. Welcome to another video. It's been a while since my last video. My apology, I have been really really busy recently. But today I want to make a quick video about Fujifilm X-T2 settings. How you can customize the buttons on Fujifilm X-T2 and I want to share my settings for each button as well. Let's jump right into it. To customize the buttons, you need to press and hold display button that takes you to button setting page and you can see all the buttons that you can customize on Fujifilm X-T2 and I'm going to go through them one by one the first button I want to talk about is the function button on top of camera body between shutter speed dial and exposure compensation dial and I set it to be film simulation because very occasionally I still shoot JPEGs if I just want quick results and I want to be able to uh, have different feelings of those uh, JPEGs that's why I still want to have a quick access to uh, film simulation and I put the button right there because this button is uh, between two dials it's not very easy to press um, because I don't shoot JPEG that often um, I mostly shoot RAW so it's okay I think if I want to switch then I push uh, this button uh, the next button I want to talk about is the function button in the front and I set it to be drive setting button um, when I go out and shoot landscape photos sometimes I want to capture the whole dynamic range so I want to do bracketing so I switch the camera to bracketing mode uh, oftentimes that means the camera is on a tripod so I just press this button in the front then I can go to the drive setting page then I can, um, I can set how many frames I want to capture and the step between, uh, between frames. And if I don't have my camera on the tripod, which means I'm shooting handheld, then I mostly shoot in a single photo mode or continuous photo mode. Then I uh, have, then I probably don't need to use bracketing most of the time. That's why I put the uh, button in the front so I still have um, uh, access to other settings the next button I want to talk about is the, uh, the up button I set it to be self timer because I don't like to use a timer I don't like to use a external timer um, that's why I always find a self timer useful um, I just press the up button then I go into self timer mode and I choose two seconds so that way after I press the shutter button and it will wait two seconds to capture the photo so that reduce camera shake the left button I set it to be white balance um, because sometimes I shoot in low light especially before sunrise or after sunset and I found in low light conditions uh, white balance is a little bit inaccurate so um, I want to manually set the white balance also sometimes when I capture uh, when I do astral, pho astral photography um, then it's just totally dark so the white balance I want to uh, manually set it to be a little bit, a little bit blue um, that's the, the color that I like the right button I set it to be AFC custom setting so I can quickly adjust a uh, continu continuous focus mode so give me a better uh, continuous focusing mode the down button I set it to be playback um, I know uh, some people might ask that there is already a playback button at the top left corner why do you still have a play button um, here because I found when I handheld and shooting like this if the play button is here it's really um, hard to reach so after I take a photo I have to either uh, use my right hand to come here to press this button or my left hand comes here to press this button and then I go back to shoot again so with the dump button 
set to playback, I, I think it's really handy, it's really convenient. I just take a photo and then I can just move my thumb to press the button, review the photo and press the shutter to continue shoot. So I don't need to jump in around playback mode to review my photo. I feel like that's uh, really handy. Also AEL and AFL, I doesn't change those. So they're the default setting. AEL is auto exposure lock and AFL is auto focus lock. And by the way, if you are shooting in manual focus mode, AFL becomes a uh, because becomes AF on. So that gives you back button uh, focusing functionality. All right, that's the button customization for Fujifilm X-T2. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. See you in the next video.